My name is Don Goff, and I am the deputy director at the zoo, and you're in the, the zoo's animal hospital. My kids and I had a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity Come on in. to meet two Amr leopard cubs born 10 weeks ago here at Connecticut Spiritsley Zoo. Oh, oh my goodness. Come on in, just go on over there. Over here? Yep. And if you sit down. One leopard was anxious to come meet us while his sister took a few minutes to warm up to the idea. These are our two yet to be named Amr leopard cubs, which naming will occur shortly. So we've got a girl and a boy. Girl and a boy. This is the boy, this is the male, and the melanistic one is the, the female. Melanism means all black pigment, and that's really rare. There's only one other melanistic leopard under human care in America, and she's at the San Diego Zoo. And these are Amur leopards. They are the most endangered big cat in the world. They're from the Amur region of Russia, and there are only about 80 of these beautiful leopards left in the wild today. Primarily, it has a lot to do with habitat destruction. There's just not that much space for them anymore. So they're, they're like having some playful brother-sister time? Mm -hmm. That's normal. Yep, that's normal. Which is very good. Uh, that's That behavior, that interaction socially is, is very much needed so that they grow up to be leopards. Do they prefer to be pet a certain way? No, no. Um, you know, unlike cats, your house cats, they are, they are not particularly affectionate in some respects. These big cats don't purr. Oh, they don't, big cats don't purr, right. okay. That's one of the kind of distinctions between big cats and little cats. Now this reminds me of what a normal cat would do. Right. Normal kitten. <laughs> it's normal kitten kind of behavior, you know. Just with huge claws. Just with huge claws. Notice how they keep climbing? That's their way of survival in the wild. Um, after they make a kill, um, they'll drag that kill to the tree. And the reason is, is because then the tiger or the hyena is not going to come along and steal it from them. <laughs> so, so that's their, their, their ability to, uh, to do that. So, so they, they're climbers. They're climbers. And they learn really quickly at a really young age how to climb because that behavior is, is in their DNA. Tigers are their biggest predators. Can they outrun a tiger? Uh, at, to be honest, I don't know if they can outrun one. They can outclimb them. Mm. Yeah. Now, you know, obviously what we're doing right now is, is not normal. People don't normally get this close to such a rare, dangerous animal, but they're still young enough that this is okay. Yeah, yeah. At this point in time, with supervision, <laughs> it's, it's okay. Um, but pretty soon, this won't be okay. Pretty soon, it won't be okay, and it won't even be okay for staff members. My typical kind of rule of thumb is um, at about an age three months, I start to really look at it seriously in terms of how much interaction with staff there can be mm -hmm. because it, it can be dangerous. You know, they can hurt you. You don't really want to socialize them. You want them to be leopards. I want them to be leopards. We want them to grow up to be healthy little leopards. Pretty soon they'll be off of bottles and outside in their own habitat getting bigger each day. Uh, they're still in the weaning process now which means they're coming off milk and going on to meat and once that happens you know they grow very quickly. And how big will they get? Uh, the male will probably you know her, her, his daddy is pretty good size between you know about 120 pounds so he'll He'll probably grow up to be. <laughs> he'll grow up to be a pretty good size. Uh, the females run a little smaller, between 80 and 100 pounds. Okay. And yeah. when can the public come see them? Well, sh soon we believe. Um, you know, probably within the next four to six weeks or so, they'll be out. It'll depend on them, and it'll depend on the weather, and it'll depend. There's, you know, there's a few caveats in there that we have to overcome first before. We'll do it. But for sure, we'll make a big announcement when they're coming out. Um, and they need names too, right? And they need names, and so that that's forthcoming.